Hello language learners. Welcome to my channel Learning English with Athena. In the previous video on compound nouns, we explored the structure of compound nouns based on various dependent elements including verbs, prepositions, adjectives and more. Let's start by discussing the different types of compound nouns based on spacing. In English, we have three types. Open or spaced, closed or solid, and hyphenated. Open compound nouns have a space between the words like science fiction, or water tank. Closed compound nouns have no space between the words, such as football or wallpaper. Hyphenated compound nouns have a hyphen between the words, like checking or dry cleaning. Next, let's talk about word stress patterns in compound nouns. In compound nouns, the first word is stressed more than the second word. This stress pattern is crucial for pronunciation as it helps distinguish compound nouns from adjectives and nouns that comes after them. For example, we emphasize the first word in coffee maker, night shift, playlist, and sister-in-law. Let's move on to a more specific example the white house this specific reference to the white house in washington dc is a compound noun with emphasis on white on the other hand when we say a white house white simply functions as an adjective describing the color of any house which is not a specific noun. Moving on, we'll explore countable and uncountable compound nouns. Countable compound nouns can be pluralized by adding s to the end, usually to the principal of the compound noun. For instance, football stadium becomes football stadiums and nail polish becomes nail polishers. Uncountable compound nouns, however, cannot be pluralized since we can't count them, such as sweet corn or ice water. Let's now summarize the rules for forming compound nouns. If the compound noun is written as a one word, we add s at the end to make it plural. However, if the words are separated, either with a space or a hyphen, we sum up the principal or important word to form the plural. For example, commando becomes commandos. Mother-in-law becomes mothers-in-law. And woman doctor becomes women doctors. The distinction between compound nouns and the noun phrase is crucial. Compound nouns consist of two or more words and cannot be separated or have a determiner placed between them. They can be modified by adjectives but not directly determined by adverbs. 
On the other hand, noun phrases consist of the terminal and a noun allowing for adverbial determination. For example, blueberries versus the blue car. In this example, we can easily separate blue and car and put a determinant between them. The blue Italian car. What? We cannot say the blue Italian berries or a haircut versus a nice haircut. We cannot say a really haircut, but we can say a really nice haircut. Now, let's discuss making compound nouns possessive. To indicate possession, we add an apostrophe to the end of the compound noun. For example, if we say my cell phone's glass has broken, we are indicating that the glass of the cell phone has broken. Now, let's discuss compound nouns and the use of, of in certain contexts. When explaining how a device works, we can use compound nouns to describe its function, but we cannot use of at the same time. For example, we say Sra washed the dinner plates rather than Sra washed the plates of the dinner. However, when Describing the ingredients of a device, we can use compound nouns or of. For instance, we can say, this is a silk dress. It is really expensive. Or, this dress of silk is really expensive. Compound nouns and of can also be used to describe a holder. When using compound nouns, the focus is on the holder itself, while of emphasizes the content. For example, the swimming pool was being cleaned, focuses on the pool itself, with the water in it, whereas the pool of theirs made the turtle move more slowly emphasizes the dirt in the pool. Lastly, compound nouns are used to describe different occupations, both as open or closed compound nouns. We cannot use of to refer to a job. For example, we say, my uncle is a fireman. Instead of my uncle is a man of fire. Similarly, we say, my girlfriend's sister is a flight attendant, rather than my girlfriend's sister is an attendant of flight. In the next video, we will explore the fascinating topic of singular and plural nouns. Stay tuned for more exciting lessons on learning English with Athena. Thank you for joining me on my channel. If you found this video informative and helpful, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel to stay updated with future lessons and language tips. Don't forget to leave a comment below sharing your thoughts and questions. And if you enjoy the content, Give it a thumbs up by hitting the like button. Your support motivates me to create more valuable English learning resources.